No matter whether you are a true video game connoisseur, a graphics whore, or just a gamer who likes to play a good-looking game, graphics matter to all of us, whether we like to admit it or not. Sure, gameplay over graphics, but there's something about the latter that makes many of us truly appreciate video games. Even though 2018 is well underway already, we'd like to have a look at the major game releases that have the best looking and most original graphics. It's all or nothing! Bandai Namco has been milking the Dragon Ball franchise by releasing many fighting games over the years. With Dragon Ball Fighters, the series finally got graphics that are a very good copy of the anime series. Without the health bars on screen, you almost think you're watching an actual episode of the show. <laughs> Visually, this Dragon Ball game is really a force to be reckoned with. When the action kicks in, it really kicks in. Especially when you realize that the famous scenes from the TV series have been recreated as fights in this game. It's almost as if Akira Toriyama made these graphics himself. We weren't very keen on putting a remake on this list, but for Shadow of the Colossus, we happily make an exception. This game was already rich in atmosphere when it released on the PlayStation 2 back in 2005. Now, over a decade later, the PS4 remake of this game looks even more beautiful. The amount of detail that has gone into the Colossi and the Ravage world is amazing. Every visual aspect has been improved, and that instantly makes Shadow of the Colossus one of the most beautiful games the PS4 has to offer. In a world where graphics are all about realism, it's nice to see a game that holds on to its cartoony roots. Kingdom Hearts 3 delivers real Disney magic with every element from the game approved by the mighty Mickey Mouse Empire. Sure, the action role-playing game has lots of Final Fantasy influences, but in every aspect of Kingdom Hearts 3, you see Disney. You feel Disney, you experience Disney. Fans of the series already know what they're getting into, but Square Enix has gone above and beyond to make this the most beautiful Kingdom Hearts game to date. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. There's something special about games from Rockstar Games. Not only in their gameplay and sheer quality, but also in their graphics. Red Dead Redemption 2 is no exception. The open world of America's heartland looks gorgeous. Rockstar has exceptional skills when it comes to creating landscapes and lighting effects. We got lawmen in three different states after us. They chased us from the west, they chased us over the mountains. The increase in computing power of the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro is likely to show itself in the smallest details. Ranging from the details in the grass and mud to the smoke and dust in the air, Red Dead Redemption 2 is simply stunning. You're the only one of these fools that I trust. The Yakuza series has long gone unnoticed here in the West. With Yakuza 6, the Song of Life, the story of Kiryu is coming to an end, but this series will not go quietly into the night. Yakuza 6 looks even better than all the earlier games in the series combined. Currently, it's really a one-of-a-kind type of game, best described as a brawler game with a deep story full of Yakuza drama. 
even though the cutscenes are where the graphics really shine, the regular gameplay still brings lots of atmosphere. After making Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Wii and Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U, Nintendo is at it again with the upcoming Yoshi game. This time around, the entire world is made out of cardboard, almost like a Paper Mario game. But not entirely. All clear? All safe? Oh wait, there's more stuff. Yeah, I forgot man. about all the more yeah, stuff. Oh, I sure oh, did. Oh, oh no. So okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take the safe road. I'm gonna go on the snouts. Uh, I just got eaten. Wow. Oh, okay, I wait, can't. wait, man. Safe road is not safe. <laughs> It's not only the aesthetics that set this platformer apart from the competition, but also the fact that these cardboard worlds can be flipped. This diorama is full of new puzzles, mechanics, and adventures. Yoshi for the Nintendo Switch is like a school project come to life, and it looks gorgeous. I'm sure you have good reasons to bust out of here. But I need to get out of here too. Yeah? Not my problem. A Way Out is a game completely built around co-op split-screen gaming. You only need one copy to play it online together with a friend. But that's not the reason we are including it into this list. A Way Out stands out graphically as well, not because it offers the most realistic graphics, but because it balances the line between realism and cartoony. You ready? Yeah. Why don't you give me the gun? I say we do this the fast way, man. Just in and out. I say we do this the easy way. Let's not make a scene. Nobody move. We'd almost swear there's a little bit of cell shading going on there, and the faces of the characters remind us a bit of Dishonored's art style. Perhaps a way out is very subtle in its graphical presentation, but either way, it manages to stand out from the crowd. I love you, buddy. Vincent, what are you doing here? She's my daughter, too. <laughs> Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. So far, we've been looking at games that choose a bit of an artistic side, but with our next entry, we're picking realism above anything else. Obviously, the story and characters in God of War are anything but realistic, but the world in the action game surely feels real. Ah! <laughs> Slow down, boy. The amount of detail that has been put into characters and their facial animations, the detailed environments, weather, and magical effects is simply astonishing. God of War looks wonderful, and there's no better way to defy the gods than this. The Metro series is built around atmosphere. But so far, we've been mostly strolling in the Moscow metro system. In Metro Exodus, we really get to move outside for major sections of the game. The graphical details in this game are amazing. The damage to your hut tells you how you're doing, while the grim world outside is full of little details. From the way you read the map, to the dust and leaves blowing in the wind, lighting is also very important in this game, and that shows. This is without a doubt one of the most realistic games of the year. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. With Detroit Become Human, there's another very good-looking game coming to the PS4. A central theme of this game is humanity and whether futuristic androids should be allowed to have emotions. And do these emotions make you human? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Aside from that philosophy lesson, it's especially interesting to see how the emotions show on the characters' faces it's probably one of the major challenges that has gone in developing this already awesome-looking story-driven game. My name is Kara. I am one of them. This is our story.
which of the games we mentioned is high on your wish list? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.